Welcome everybody to the Tech Woke Podcast. On this podcast, we talk about tech, career, and life. And my name is Chris. And uh, in this video, we're going to discuss are cybersecurity boot camps worth it? So this video came about because I'm in a lot of groups. Um, I'm on YouTube. And I'm starting to see more and more podcasts. They have these people that are in cybersecurity, tech boot, you know, tech or different types of tech coding, different things like that. And they're starting to promote these these uh, these kind of like boot camps, cybersecurity boot camps, coding boot camps, things like that. And some of them are even promising you to get a six figure job in uh, about uh, 10 days or less and things like that. Uh, there are some that are cost a lot of money, like some of them cost five thousand, ten thousand dollars. And in this video, I kind of want to discuss are these tech boot camps, cybersecurity boot camps, coding boot camps, are they good for somebody that's new that's trying to get in the field? And I'm going to focus primarily on cybersecurity because that's the field I am. I can't really speak on other tech boot camps when it comes to coding and things like that, but I'm going to focus primarily on cybersecurity. So first off, I'm going to just tell you some things I know about people that went into cybersecurity boot camps and just different their experience. And then I'm just going to just probably get into like more in-depth the uh, cons versus the pros of doing it. And then overall, I'm just going to just say, hey, do you think it's worth it or not? So for me, I have many different friends that uh been to a lot of these cybersecurity boot camps and uh, things like that. I have different friends that have been in a cybersecurity boot camp. Uh, so I'm going to just tell you some of their experience. They said, for one, these boot camps cost them about maybe $3,000 to $5,000, if that. Um, a lot of these cybersecurity boot camps are mainly just for information security, which all they do is just uh, review the NIST guidelines. They said that the instructor really didn't go in depth on topics. Um, they did help them with resume, but a lot of these cybersecurity boot camps, they would just put things on their resume that didn't exist or say they worked for them, but they didn't really work for them or put false internships on there to really mess up your resume. So a lot of these people that I did know when they did get a job, like a lot of them didn't really understand what they put on their resume. So when they get to a job, they'll just, you know, not know what they're doing from, from their experience. They did say that there was the, the pro is that they was around it every day, but from their experience, they didn't really get a chance to really learn anything. So they feel like they kind of wasted their time. They didn't really burn no connections with those people but they just didn't really get it. So that's from their experience. So from me, I never been in a tech uh, cybersecurity boot camp, but I did do a lot of research on them from people and just just checking them out. So I'm going to just go into some of the pros of a cybersecurity boot camp. Uh, the first pro of a cybersecurity boot camp, number one is accelerated. So a lot of these Cybersecurity boot camps, they're really accelerated. They're like a week, sometimes a month. I think the longest I've seen was two to three months. They're really accelerated. They're they're down on one topic most of the time. So they're on one topic. So they'll give you as much in-depth topic on that one topic. They'll, they'll make sure they focus on it, dive in deep, um, and they'll go at a very, very fast pace. So you have to, every day you have to, you know, every week or whatever, how they do it, you got to make sure you're up to date on information, doing your homework and you're doing what you have to do to prepare for that course. So a lot of these cyber boot camps, they have industry relevant topics in the, in the boot camp. It can be AI, um, RPA is another popular term that things are people are using. It's like a kind of a robotic bot that people use and things like that. And just even like with the cloud, that's kind of newer that you know, a lot of organizations are trying to get with. So a lot of people are trying to adapt to these to these different things. So they add those to the lot of cyber rooms. So there are a lot of industry relevant things inside of these cybersecurity boot camps. Uh, it's a good opportunity to network. When you are in these boot camps, they uh, there you can network in these boot camps because uh, there's people that's like minded. Most of the people that are in the cybersecurity boot camp are newer, but they have some, but I mainly recommend it for a lot of people. I recommend that you have to have some experience before you do it, because if you have experience that they'll pay for it. But a lot of there's some people that's in these boot camps that are been in the field for a while, understand how everything is going. 
So they, they, you can network with them and maybe get through a job through them, but they, there's a lot of people that's industry relevant and you can have a, even if they're not in cybersecurity, you can talk to them and try to get into their industry. Maybe you have a change of heart, but there's a lot of networking opportunities in these cybersecurity boot camps. So I'm about to get into some of the cons of these cybersecurity boot camps. So the main con that I have with cybersecurity boot camps, they're very, very expensive. They're more expensive to sometimes more expensive and uh then some 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 uh some some colleges you know so they're about they average around about from what i'm looking at about five to ten thousand dollars for somebody that's transitioning to cybersecurity. a lot of this stuff you can learn yourself you can just youtube it or you can just take a, a udemy course or a, a course on what specifically you want to do and you probably only pay like twenty dollars like the same course that they're charging for five thousand you can literally get on udemy for like twenty dollars to a hundred dollars I don't think that it's worth it to pay this type of money and you're a new person trying to get into cybersecurity. I just can't fathom that money. I wouldn't do it. I would never do it because it's just too much money. The only time I would do it if I had my job paid for it, but you, when you have a job paid for, you got to justify the meaning. So I, I wouldn't pay that type of money for these type of courses, especially if you're a newcomer coming into cybersecurity or tech in general. So a lot of these, uh, another con is a lot of these cybersecurity boot camps, uh, they are not in depth. They don't go in in depth on topics. They're kind of glaze over a topic. Like for example, you could be talking about the NIST guidelines uh, and they'll just glaze over it. They're not going in depth on what each thing does. They're, and they and you wouldn't really know because like you're, most people that are in these boot camps are new. So they not know they're getting all the in-depth information that they could. They're kind of like, glazing over it or sometimes an instructor might not even know themselves so they're not going in depth on on certain things so that's my that's another con i have for these cybersecurity boot camps yeah then uh one of the biggest cons i have with cybersecurity boot camps um like i was saying earlier like they mainly focus on a certain job that's easier to get into in cybersecurity, mainly like information system security officer. So they'll are, they are read the NIST guidelines to you, they'll talk to you, do things like that. And uh, it can create a market saturation in certain fields because of that. So if some people are making a certain amount of money, they can lower that amount of money that is in a certain field because there's so many people being trained for it. A lot of people are not even good at the position. They're just putting things in a resume, saying this or doing, saying the internship, saying we did this, did that, and it's not even quality work for the position. So it it's really creates market saturation for people not knowing what's going on in the position, uh, for people that's actually you know experienced in the position. So I don't have no problem with newer people getting into a job. I just have a problem with, you know, misleading information because once these people come on to the position they're not going to know what they're doing and it's going to probably take like a year or two just to even get them up to speed or they don't want to get up to speed and they just create a lot of problems at the work at the work environment so my overall opinion on cybersecurity boot camps in general i don't think new people should do them i don't think new people should do cybersecurity boot camps um, i think that Newer people should just focus on Udemy, YouTube, whatever you can you pay as less money as possible because it's a lot of money to, for a lot of these 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 boot camps that are promising you uh, these types of gains. Um, especially be wary of uh, cybersecurity boot camps that's trying to say you're going to make six figures in a week. That's just not possible. It's just it's possible if you know somebody, but it's not possible if they're you know like I said they're going to lie on your resume. They're going to put things in your resume that don't have nothing to do with nothing, or they're just saying you did something, but you didn't. That's not good. That's false information. I don't recommend anybody putting your false information out there in the work field. So for newer people, I do not recommend them at all. But for people that's in the field, that have jobs, that have been there five, 10 years, that got a, a lot of experience, you know, just you can go to, go do them. It's, it's a good way to build up credits for your certs and things like that. And then nine times out of 10, for your job will probably pay for it. So for, you know, for people that's more experienced, I would highly recommend people do these cybersecurity boot camps so you can keep learning and this field is constantly changing. But for newer people, I highly recommend you don't do it. 
If you got the money, go ahead and spend it, but I would not recommend doing it. But that's to sum it up. That's pretty much it, everybody. Remember, everybody, get 1% better every day. Remember, like, like the video. Comment down below if you have a different uh, experience. Subscribe to the channel. And just do those things. Those help out the channel. Help me out uh, for giving you this information. That's everybody. Peace out. I'll see you on the next video.